Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct faculty in uh, School of Engineering, Kochi University of Science and Technology, Kerala. This video is about phonics. This video is about phonics. I am going to give you a method that is common for drawing phonics. What are the phonics? Ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. So we are going to learn a common method for constructing this conics. A conic curve is defined as the path traced by a point moving in a plane in a single plane. The path traced by a point moving in a plane in such a way that the ratio, what is the ratio? Distance of moving point from a fixed point this divided by same point, distance of same moving point from a fixed straight line remains a constant. I repeat, the path faced by a point moving in a plane in such a way that the ratio distance of the moving point, distance of the moving point from a fixed point divided by distance of the moving point from a fixed straight line remains a constant. So a point is moving. A point is moving. Oh, freeze it for an instant. Distance of this point from some fixed point divided by distance of this point from some fixed straight line remains a constant. The fixed straight line and the fixed point are always fixed. The point is moving. A constant point is, the constant point is moving in a plane. So if it, it is here, the distance divided by this distance is a constant, is some value. When it moves to another place, this distance by this distance is same. So it remains a constant. That is called a conic. I hope you understand. So a conic is defined as the path traced by a point moving in a plane in such a way that the ratio distance of the moving point from a fixed point divided by the distance of the moving point from a fixed straight line always remains a constant. Agreed? And this constant is called eccentricity. Eccentricity. Agreed? This constant is called eccentricity. If E is less than 1, the curve which you get is called an ellipse. E is less than 1. If E is equal to 1, the curve which you get is called a parabola. Agreed? And if E is greater than 1, it is called a hyperbola. I hope you understand. So this is the definition of conics. Right? Now we are going to learn we are going to learn in this procedure, in this method a trick or a technique or a procedure to draw a curve when certain things are given. A common procedure. What are the things given? Distance between distance between directrix and focus and excess. Okay, I forgot to mention something. In the definition, the path is by a point moving in a plane in such a way that the ratio distance of the moving point from a fixed point and distance of the moving point from a fixed straight line always remains a constant. This fixed point is called the focus and the distance the fixed straight line is called the directrix. I forgot to mention that. The fixed point is called the Focus and the fixed straight line is called the direct. So, in this method, we are going to learn how to draw a conic when the distance between the directrix and focus is given and the eccentricity is given. Agreed? Now, let's take a problem. The distance between directrix and focus is 50 mm and the eccentricity is 2 by 3. Eccentricity is 2 by 3. What is it? When eccentricity is 2 by 3, you are sure it is an ellipse. Agreed? The question will be mentioned in the description. This question, the specific wording of the question will be given in the description. But I am stating the content of the question. The distance between directrix and focus is 50 mm and the eccentricity, eccentricity is 2 by 3. You are asked to draw a curve, a conic, an ellipse and draw normal and tangent at any point. That is the question. Agreed? I will discuss further more issues or points after drawing the curve. Okay. What you do first is, we draw the directrix. This is the directrix. 
directly is a vertical line and at the somewhere at the center you draw a horizontal line this is the axis this is the diagonal diagonal agree now this point i call as c agree then i mark f such that cf is equal to the distance 50 mm cf is equal to 50 then i divide this cf into five equal parts cf into five equal parts and on the second division i draw a vertical line this point and this point is called b then how do you divide it or how do you why do you choose b here bf by bc equals 2 by 3 2 by 3 2 by 3 the requirement in the question now b a center b a plus radius katana katana you get two points this point i call as e1 and this point i call as e2 and i connect c e1 and extend by a straight line c e2 and extend by a straight line agree okay now to the right of b i take certain points if you take the points at equal intervals it will be nice and presentable i do like that i take about 1 mm 1 cm gap this is already 1 cm so i take this as one point and here first second point 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you can take 12 13 or whatever it is i assume 12 will be sufficient and then draw vertical lines through them draw very light vertical lines through them very light very light these vertical lines have to be perfectly vertical have to be drawn perfectly vertical when you say vertical it will be parallel to this directrix when they are vertical it will be parallel to the directrix you can how do you draw vertical lines If you have got the two such squares, you can very easily do that. You can very easily do that. One method is, look at this. One method is that's not the correct method, but easiest method is keep the 90 degree line of your such square on this horizontal line and bring it in line with one vertical. Move it again. Make this horizontal line in line with the axis vertical. Or the next option is you have to place the set square, put nine dots on ninety degrees and draw vertical. But this will be more easier if it is within the reach. And if you are using a mini drafter, when you are using a mini drafter, you can set the scale zero scale on the mini drafter and then draw vertical lines. You will easily get there. Okay. Now name these points. This is one, so this is one dash. This is two, so this is two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven dash, eight dash, nine dash. 10 dash, 11 dash, and 12 dash. I need to mark in only one direction. I need not mark them here. I need not mark them here. Now take the distance one one dash in your compass. Listen carefully. Take the distance one one dash in your compass. Your first center. This is F is two itself. Okay. Your first center. Cut one one dash there and there. You get two points. This is P one. This is P one. What did What did you do? Take one one dash in your compass. Your first center, cut one one dash itself up and down. Okay, finish. Take two two dash in your compass. Your first center, if you cut two dash itself is P two, and this itself is P two. Agree? Okay. Take three three dash in your compass. Your first center, cut three three dash up and down. What is it? It is P three. This is P three. Take four four dash in your compass. Your first center. Cut four four dash itself p four p four. Agree? Similarly, proceed. Similarly, proceed. Take five five dash in your compass. Your first center. Cut five 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 dash itself p five p five. Okay. Similarly, when you draw points, mark points. You get points in this. orientation approximately and when you connect them with a smooth curve that passes through b you get a curve like this
since I am using freehand curve, it may not look very good. What is this? This is P11 and this also is P11. Agreed? So you will reach a stage. Listen, listen. You will reach a stage. Say, take 11, 11 dash. F for center cut. You get P11, P11. Then when you take 12, 12 dash. And when you draw R with F for center. It will not cut 12, 12 dash. You will reach a stage like that. It may reach at 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't know. When you use correct dimensionally, you will know that. So you will reach a stage when it will not cut. What you have to do? You have to connect this and this by a smooth curve crossing the axis that decision that the point where it crosses the axis has to be cleanly taken you have to be very careful in getting that point it is not obtained it's not already obtained you have to smoothly connect them you will get automatically get the point okay so this is the curve i have not i have not named all the curves but this is the curve now after drawing the curve if somebody asks you, where is the other focus? How will you find out? This is one focus, B, F. Where is the other focus? Measure from the last point in this direction. You will get the corresponding focus there, which you name as F2. Okay. If somebody asks you, where is the major axis? Where is the major axis? A. Oh, okay. B already you are used. B, B1. B, B1 is what? B, B1 is? Major axis. If somebody asks you where is the minor axis, what will you do? Take the major axis, get the perpendicular bisector. How do you draw a perpendicular bisector of a line? How do you draw the perpendicular bisector of a line? You have done it in school day 6th or 7th standard. I don't remember. You recall that. Instead of get right away telling you, I ask you to recall that. What is what, Why is it important to recall? When recall, Things which you have learned from school days, no? So, so many things in the deep well of your memory will come up. Your memory has got a deep well, you know that? Whatever you learn in your very younger period will go into the deep well. And if you don't recall, it will go to the depth of the well and settle at the bottom. Don't allow that. A good student will never allow that memory things to go to the depth of the well. Occasionally recall them so that it will come to the surface and again slowly go down. Never allow it to go to the bottommost point and settle. That is what this IAS coaching people do, no? They never allow these things to settle at the bottom of the well. So you engineers also should not allow it to go to the bottom of the well and settle. So recall your school days and tell me how find out how to draw the perpendicular bisector. Okay. Once you draw the perpendicular bisector, what is this? This is the minor axis, C D. What are name? I have already used to see here. You name it by some, uh, some other letter. This is minor axis. This is the center. This is the focus. Okay. I just additionally told you these things. It is not required in the question. Okay. You are asked to draw a normal and tangent at any point. I take K. What is K? K is the point where I want to draw normal and tangent. Agreed? What I do? Join KF by a straight line. Join KF. Draw a perpendicular to KF at F. Draw a perpendicular to KF at F. You get M. You get M on the directrix. This is the directrix. You get M on the directrix. Join MK and extend. What is it? It's a tangent. MK is the tangent at K. Where is the perpendicular to that? This is the perpendicular to that and that is the normal. Normal at K. I hope you understand. Wherever you want to draw normal and tangent, locate K, join K T F, draw a perpendicular to K F at F, cut the directrix at M, M K is the tangent, perpendicular is the normal. I hope you understand. Agreed? Now, I am not completely drawing the parabola. The second question is, second question is, E equals 1. Distance between directrix and focus is 50 and E equal to 1. I am not drawing it completely, but I am going to tell you. Draw direct axis, draw directrix, draw F, locate F. What is CF? CF is equal to 50. CF equal to 50. Where is V? V is at the center of V is at the center of CF. So that VF by VC is 1. VF 
Vf by Vc is 1, so that V comes at the center of Cf. Agreed? Do the same thing. It will not close. The curve will not close. You can take 10 or say 8 or 6 points. The curve will, curve will be like this. The curve will be like this. Agreed? You have got one focus. The curve will be like this. That is called a parabola. Agreed? The curve will be like this. Not like that. Curve will be like this. Somewhere here will be the focus. This is C. This is called the double ordinate. Double ordinate. This is called the double ordinate. This is the apex or vertex. Agree? This is the focus. The norm, the procedure of drawing normal and tangent is identical. Procedure of drawing normal and tangent is identical. Agree? And in the next case, where E equals 3 by 2, E equals 3 by 2, where is V? V will be here. So that Vf by Vc is 3 by 2. Vf by Vc is 3 by 2. Same procedure, take 6 or 8 points, you get a further diverging curve like this. Further diverging curve at this is not C, this is V, this is V. You will get a further diverging curve. The procedure of drawing normal and tangent is identical. So in fact, we have covered a procedure used for drawing a conic when the distance between directness and focus and eccentricity are given. You can take any numerical values and draw questions. There are so many problems that has come for university examinations in various universities. You can solve any of them and discuss with me if you have got any doubt. If you find this video useful, please share it among your friends and subscribe to my video. Okay? Thank you.